Hello, I'm Chase Warren. Today I'll be giving a presentation over the theorist Margaret Newman, who developed the theory of health as an expanding consciousness. To start off, Margaret Newman was born on October 10, 1933 in Memphis, Tennessee, where she graduated high school, and later she received her bachelor's degree from Baylor University in Waco, Texas. After college, Margaret returned to Memphis, where she worked at a chemical company, and also later became a caregiver for her mother, who was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, or also called Lou Gehrig's disease. From this time spent with her mother, Margaret learned that only one can be healthy even in the face of disease. She received her call for nursing and entered nursing school at the University of Tennessee. After finishing with her bachelor's degree in nursing, she entered graduate nursing studies at the University of California, where she received her master's degree in 1964. Margaret returned to Memphis and served as an assistant professor of nursing and the UT Clinical Research Center Director of Nursing. She also spent the next 10 years in New York University, first in doctoral studies, receiving her PhD in 1971, and also as faculty. While in New York City, she initiated a postdoctoral summer workshop on nursing theory and development, and co-authored a source book of nursing research in 1973 and 1977. <clears throat> Dr. Newman assumed the position of professor in charge of graduate studies in nursing at Penn State in 1977, at which time she also organized an international nursing theory think tank. She introduced her theory of health as an expanding consciousness since 1978 and published the earliest primer of developing nursing theory, Theory Development in Nursing 1979. Okay, to talk about her theory. The theory of health as an expanding consciousness and caring partnership is a nursing intervention. With this caring partnership, nurses are able to identify with cancer patients as well as to help patients find meaning in their situation and their lives. <clears throat> in these patient-nurse interactions, both patients and nurses experience higher levels of consciousness. Her level, her theory of health as an expanding consciousness comes from a unitary and transformative perspective on nursing. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> in treating patients with cancer, cancer patients have a great need of caring connection with nurses, but nurses often cannot establish those connections <clears throat> because of demands of their time and energy for a treatment-focused care. With Dr. Newman's theory of health as expanding consciousness, this nursing intervention enables nurses to identify with cancer, with cancer patients to help the patients find meaning in their difficult situation and their lives. As Dr. Newman says, disease fuses with its opposite, absence of disease, non-disease, and brings forth a new, health, a new concept of health. Newman was in her early 20s when she began taking care of her mother, who was diagnosed with amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a, de a degenerative neurological disease that progressively de diminishes the movement of all muscles except those of the eyes. <clears throat> in the five years of taking care of her mother, she wrote that I had learned from my mother, though physically in incapacitated, was a whole person, just like anybody else. I came to know her and to love her in a way that I probably would never have taken the time to experience had she not been physically dependent. The five years that I spent with her before she died were difficult, tiring, restrictive in some ways, but intense, loving, and expanding in other ways. Although her mother's life was con confined by disease, her life was not defined by it. The mother and daughter experienced wholeness and health together despite having progressive disease. Newman's views shaped a new type of nursing intervention that focuses on the patient as a whole and finds meaning in the experience. <clears throat> After this theory in 1984, she assumed a position as a nurse theorist and professor, and professor at the University of Minnesota, where she furthered the development and testing of her theory and while also working closely with doctoral students. In the eight, in it, and later in the 80s, she served as a civilian consultant to the U.S. Surgeon General for Nursing Research, and she also retire, retired in, from teaching in 1999, yet remained active for another 17 years advancing nursing theory, education, research, and practice through her presentations and publications, including her seventh book, Transforming Presence, The Difference That N Nurses Make in 2008. Dr. Newman's theory of health has been widely embraced around the world, and her life will be commemorated in many countries. So I want to thank you for uh, listening to me 
um, today and going over Margaret Newman's theory. And uh, I appreciate it. And thank you. Have a good day.